I'm doing okay, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. Yeah. I love this. The doors open up and I see a man, he's older. He's got a salt and pepper beard, top row in the booth section with a top hat on. Stand up, sir. Like, I, I can't. No, flip your fan, flip your fan. Okay, all right now. Thank you, sir, for being here and dressing the part. What a mess. In a good way. Okay, so here to me is the, st the top story. You heard about the stripper that fell 15 feet off the pole? Did you see the footage? Cause I checked it out on two different sites, right? Okay, and continue twerking. Uh-huh. If I didn't see the footage, I would not have believed the story. You know what I'm saying? Like who goes up 15 feet high? That's a, that's a two story building. Uh, okay. But look, she is the employee of the month, honey. Okay. <laughs> her name is Gina Skye and she fell face first. She fractured her jaw, cracked her teeth, sprained her ankle, but still continued working. Now see. And then was still able yesterday to post an update about her condition. Take a look. I pretty much broke my jaw and I have to have surgery on it tomorrow. I am having a hard time, but I am okay and I'm gonna be okay. Um, it's just a really um, humbling experience to just be alive, you know? I'm really thankful for that. Aww. Okay, so she had to have her uh, jaw wired yesterday after making the video. The thing is, is that how did she break her jaw, fracture her teeth, and sprain her ankle, but kept all her nails? <laughs> I, I, I found that to be a miracle. You know what I mean? This is very, very terrible. You know, I love the strip club, and I support the girls at the strip club. It's a temporary situation to get yourself out of a worse situation. But you know what? So I went on her social media, cause off, like, you know, they blame a lot of things on moms. But dads, you got one job. You know what that job is? Keep your daughter off the pole. And the strip club is not taking responsibility. Although there are two schools of thought. When you get hurt at work, isn't that workman's compensation? on one hand. On the other hand, if you're a performance artist, right, and you see a 15 foot pole, do you have to go up all 15 feet? But see, that brings in better tips. Believe me, you. Mm-hmm. But, and, and she went up, and I guess lost grip and fell down, but she kept, employee of the month, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say. Um, the CEO of the club says she chose her own routine. See, when you're a performer, a lot of times you practice what you're gonna do before you actually do it. So she might have climbed up earlier in the day and it all worked out fine. And then something happened where she fell down. Look, Miss Skye, I'm sorry to hear about what's happening, 
you know, you, it's unbelievable that you broke your jaw because you were still talking to us really regular. Like I wouldn't have, I've, I've heard people who've never broken a jaw speak horribly. <laughs> um, but you know, good luck to you. You know, one of Gina's friends started a GoFundMe page. Now, as of last night, I, I did check. There was thirteen thousand, like five hundred dollars. Yeah. About six o'clock at night. Yeah. But now, but now, as of this morning, it's over thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. So this will help her along. In the meantime, uh, Jennifer Aniston, Jen, look. To me, you and Brad are still meant to get back together. Don't throw tomatoes, don't hate me. I just like them to, I just, I, you do too? Yeah, uh, low key claps like this. Um, but I gotta tell you something. Fans are now saying that they want her to date Regina King. They want Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, Brad yep. Pitt, I'm sorry, to date. <laughs> Who, by the way, when Fashion Squad was here yesterday and we were doing our Oscar review, Regina, look, let me tell you something. You had one of the most beautiful dresses of the whole night. Yeah. She really did. Imagine, this is our girl from 227. <laughs> and now she is a darling of Hollywood. We've seen her really rise to the occasion. Uh huh. So Regina presented Brad with his Oscar the other night and people immediately started talking about their chemistry because they kissed on the stage, they shook hands, she turned around and came back to him, then backstage they kissed affectionately and everything continued and I say, what does that mean? That means she's capturing her moment, honey. <laughs> I... That is a little close to the mouth, though. And the two-hand thing. I don't picture her with anybody but a solid black man, not for nothing. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't think that she's that girl. And Brad, we know he's down with the swirl cause he used to slay Robin Givens. <laughs> but I think that Brad has too many kids, too many complications in his cuckoo. <laughs> Regina, run for the hills. You were already wrapped up with Malcolm Jamal Warner. Right? Yep. Norntman? Yep. <laughs> Who threw your stuff out on the lawn. Allegedly, yep. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying, Regina, is you're living your best life and you look gorgeous at the Oscars and I wish you well with everything and you'll always be a friend to our show. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rem's here, Rem's here, Rem's here. <laughs> Crawford's son is a model, as well as, his, as, well as uh, she and Randy Gerber's daughter. But the son is getting a lot of the business for getting a face tattoo. Now look at here now, Presley. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what the Chet Hayes is going on. He's 20 years old. Presley Gerber, he models. He's the heir to that vodka chain and the heir to the Cindy Crawford fortune. All right, he's got one other sibling, all the kids look just like the mom. Gorge. All right. Uh, this says misunderstood. How dare him? I would crack skull. Suzanne. This is so, so disappointing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just disappointing. He's gorgeous. And he's a model already he's a working. Model. And he doesn't need to do that to his Misunderstood. I, all the, I mean, first of all, a face tattoo was like mm -hmm. dead uh -huh. wrong. But second of all, misunderstood. misunderstood really? mm -hmm. What the Crawford Gerber is going uh -huh. on? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Presley clap back, take a look. What's the meaning of the misunderstood tattoo is, I don't feel very understood, I guess. If anyone had to say to me about this or anything else, or my family, or how I grew up, or anything, I will give you my address, I promise, and you can come say it to my face. Okay. Bureau, get on it. Find his address so we can come ask him. All right. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why are you complaining, kid? But at least he's only 20 and he could still do modeling jobs and they're makeup artists who can cover it with a bunch of pancake and make it look normal. Amber Rose, though, is a mother of two and uh, 36 years old. Amber, you know I love you, girl. But why would you ruin your forehead? And I don't care. She got her, her three-month-old's name is Slash, and her seven-year-old's name is Bash. And I don't care how much you love your kids. Are you doing this up here? Now, she can get one of those Anna Wintour wigs and, and cover all that real quick. understand why she would do that. Like to me, she's a little old to be rock and rolling with tattoos on her face. But Amber, you know I love you and that's it. That, I, that's it. <laughs> so, I um, formed a dinner last night. I had some really good people that you all know. Okay. Mally Ronkel, you know, the, the makeup queen. Okay, she comes here all the time. The Hawaiian girl with the gorgeois. Okay. So Mally and I wanted to plan dinner for last night. So I called Food God, AKA Kim K's friend, Jonathan Chabin, right? I call Food God, I'm like, where, where should Mally and I eat? He's like, I'm in town still for Men's Fashion Week, so I'll come with you all if you all don't mind. I said, no, I don't mind at all. And then Norman, <laughs> out of nowhere, because we're talking about the girl who fell from the pole. Right. This is earlier in the afternoon. Right. And then I said, hey, um, Norman, do you want to come for dinner tonight? And I was like, yep. He sh <laughs> Yo, Norman showed up, because it was raining in New York, with a civilized umbrella. Th there we are, there we are. Uh-huh. <laughs> then, right over my shoulder, but you can't see right there, Kathy Hilton, Paris's mother, was there with her sister, Kim Richards. Uh-huh. The girls came over. Norman, how was that for you? Amazing, otherworldly. <laughs> I was like, cause Mally said she thought she saw Catherine O'Hara from I didn't want to turn around. Cause, right. But, but, but they were like this close to me. And I said, if I don't turn around, then I'm not gonna look civilized. But I wasn't wearing a bra, cause I don't need one. <laughs> and so, so I was like, after a long day at work, how you just dismiss a bra. Yeah. All right, but what I noticed about this, why are my boobs sitting on the table? <laughs> All right, so the Hilton sisters are sitting there together, uh, Kyle and Kathy, uh, Paris's mom, and but they get up and they come over to us. And they're like, we love the show. Kathy's like, thank you for being nice to my daughter. And she goes, Wendy, TV doesn't do you justice. Yep. How many times did she say that? So many times. I was like, I, well, how do I, do I look ugly? <laughs> no, 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 but, but how many? She was like fanning out. Nortman. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and Kyle looked great. She was wearing red lipstick and the girls went back to their table, which was literally that close. 
So they're eating. We're with the food god. The food god's got more diamonds on than the entire situation. Like, Jonathan Chabin is real. He's a lovely, oh my gosh. <laughs> what did we eat? Anything food God ordered. You know, I, I looked at the menu before because every fatty does that, right? I'd been studying that menu for like 24 hours. <laughs> Honey, I knew exactly what I was gonna order. But then we get there with the food God, people are fanning out over the food God. Mally, I never saw her with the straight hair. She's like, oh, it's dirty. I said, what? She keeps doing this with the hair and whatnot. Mally is like a really dope broad. She's dope. And Norman was wearing hard shoes with laces. I think you might have had on an ascot. I'm not exactly sure. I'm like, who are you? And then next thing you know, right? So, um, I get a text. And who do you think it is? <gasps> so Boof is over at the Nicki Minaj radio show, right? Cause that, uh-huh. <laughs> but then he says, I got a break in between. What are you doing? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? Norman's downstairs. Mally just ding dong. Jonathan's already waiting. We were like 10 minutes late to the um, restaurant. I said, I'm going out for dinner. He said, well, where are you going? And so I told him. Yeah. And so, a very civilized place designed by Ralph Lauren, I might add. Mm -hmm. Polo bar. Okay. Anywho. So, so Boof says, well, you know, that's in the same neighborhood where I'm at. You know, I got a break. I said, well, you can come over, but we're not ordering around your no meat, no food diet. <laughs> like, I don't even know what you eat, Boof. All I'm saying is that, so then Boof shows up. And he's there for like an hour, and then he leaves to go back to the radio show. And then I'm looking at my clock, and I'm saying, it's time for what, almost? <laughs> the 10 o'clock news. Doggone right. <laughs> Doggone right. I'm like, okay, um, look, uh, Mater D, person, <laughs> All right, we're ready for the check. Cause it was me inviting people out. So I felt the proper thing to do. You know, I pulled up my credit card. Next thing you know, food God. Uh-huh, is like, I got it. Right? And I left with the firm shrimp, but look. <laughs> Look, we slurped um, clams, raw clams with caviar on top. There was all kind of stuff going on at the table. I wasn't even sure what was going on. All I know is that everybody in the restaurant looked beautiful. Uh -huh. The music was low enough where we could hear, hear each other talk. And we were home in time for the? The 10 o'clock nears. All going right. <laughs> Is my part too poofy? I'm feeling like it's too poofy over here. No. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, so apparently this is a very special day in the world. Okay, the, the earth is on some sort of access and everybody's doing this broom challenge. I don't wanna participate, I don't care to get involved. I don't believe in any of this hocus pocus. All I know is that the world is messed up. In New York, cops are being assassinated. Old ladies are being pushed down. Innocent people are being punched in the face. But the tickets are free. Yeah. And by the way, a shout out to the NYPD. You know, just, because people talk about you bad, but when they need you, who do you call right after you call your mother? First you call your mother, help mom, and then you call the cops. So you all fronting on the PD at NY, you better uh, fix your face and, and get right with this. Anyway, all right, so. All right, so there's this thing going on, it's called the broom challenge. I don't wanna be involved, but you know what, all right. So 
Safari did it, Paula Abdul did it. They even did it during our uh, morning meet. Look, look at this. If you look at, look at Paula. But I'm like, no, she must have crazy glued it to the floor. Like, I don't believe any of this hocus pocus. Apparently, the earth is so proper right now that you can balance a broom on the floor. So I'm like, really? Uh, I don't care. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe in this. You know, I'm still trying to figure out what um, Corona is. No, it's not me, it's the earth. The, the earth is, uh, like, I don't believe this, but okay. <laughs>